this is day three and finally I'm at the uh, airport and I'm staring right at the uh, uh, takeoff area so this is a uh, Liberty International Airport a long term parking uh, Newark is somewhere there Newark there's some kind of a port and actually just a few miles away from here that's where that uh, park is with the with the Statue of Liberty so we here I think that's uh, downtown probably so I just got here uh, so basically yeah, I, I, I spent the night in uh, Cortland Cortland New York got some gas in there oh I guess so. There's a airplane taking off. Too bad it's against the sun, you know? I think mine is gonna be like that. Mine is gonna be a two, two engine. Two engine plane. That's what they have for uh, Canadians, you know? When you are Canadian, they don't put you on a big plane. And someone was asking, uh, actually lots of stupid comments, you know, on these previous videos. So I'll probably have to disa disable the comments on, uh, just leave them on, on video one. So anybody who has something uh, very smart to say, just go to video one and leave your comments in there. On these videos, day two, day three, I'm going to disable them because some guy says, uh, what, they don't have airplanes in Canada? What in you? Oh, I see some kind of smoke in there. No, that's not a fire. That's the guy who was landing. And he caught the ground. Anyway, of course we do have planes in Canada. Uh, but some people are so, you know, boring. Like when you're given, when you're given an opportunity. And like, once again, I'm not from US, right? I don't live in US. Uh, I come through in my big truck, but this is a foreign country to me, which still makes it interesting to me, right? So it's like, uh, let's say you live in uh, Germany and you fly to China and you have a choice of uh, flying from Germany and then the tickets are like 300 bucks more and you have to make uh, two transfers, you have to change two flights. So basically, uh, three flights total, two stopovers, right? And then you check the nearby uh, flights, and turns out you're in Germany, but turns out if you drive to Austria, you know, through some beautiful mountains in your car that you really like driving, and you rarely do because you're a trucker, let's just say, you know, uh, and you find find out that if you fly from Austria, you can save 300 bucks and instead of two stopovers, you will have only one stopover and you can drive through the mountains, you know, and uh, look at some beautiful scenery, maybe you get to use your, uh, you know, camera. So that's the situation I'm in uh, because I don't drive my Ram that often. I love this truck lots of power you know very comfortable and even if the price was the same I would love to do this I would just love to you know be able to drive like 500 miles it's a you know road trip ROD TRIP road trip some people just you know forget the idea you know they forget how to have fun that's how you have fun you know when you do something that you don't necessarily have to do because yeah a few hundred bucks uh, after fuel, that's not that big of a deal, but I mean, come on, you know, life is short, enjoy it, you know, just don't, just don't go in your uh, village and board a plane and then board another plane and make uh, 10 transfers where you can just hop in your car and have a pleasant drive through a foreign country, I repeat, foreign country, because many people seem to forget that I'm from Canada, right, I'm not from US, so it's uh, it's all a big adventure, you know. Uh, so 
Uh, usually I don't I don't like explaining things, but you know, just some some people, and then some somebody started leaving some comments about spies. You know, bring this spy back. You know, say hello to this spy. I had no idea who this person was, and then I looked them up, and turns out this female was a, a Russian national arrested in 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 U.S. for spying. Like, why would I even say hello? To somebody like that I have no I never met in my life you know like some people think that Russia it's like Delaware you know where everybody knows everybody there's like 10 people per per uh, 20 square miles come on it's a huge country Moscow alone is the size of a New York City it's just <laughs> just ridiculous you know you guys uh, should get get out of home more often, you know, at least some of you, you know. There's other other things to do, there's other countries to see, and not all of them are the same as uh, U.S., you know, and money isn't everything, you know. I think fun, to have fun, it's much more interesting. Anyway, don't get me started on this, but... Like I said, my motto is, life is short, you must have fun. If you're not having fun, you're basically killing yourself, you know? If you're not having fun at your job, you should do something about it, you know, change it, you know? If you're not having fun in your town, go somewhere else, you know? Thankfully, this is the West, right? Even in Canada, I can just, you know, park all my belongings in this pickup truck and go somewhere like Alberta and just register over there and you know rent an apartment if i don't like alberta i can go to british columbia or i can go to saskatchewan or if i'm totally crazy i can go to quebec northern quebec and just try to find those mosquitoes you know so you can live anywhere you can work anywhere and you can do whatever you want you know until until you have good health so if you're waiting you know some people wait all their lives they save money till they're like 75 and then all of a sudden they discover that you know they need a walking stick to walk to the bus stop or else or, or uh, a railroad station so no longer they are interested in in going somewhere uh, wait a second so why did you work your whole life trying to save for your retirement and then somehow you forgot this little fact that when people get older then they get sicker you know <laughs> so guys and gals have fun while you can okay okay let me go pack my stuff and uh, find a bus i think it's right over there there's a bus stop and there's a free bus and i know my terminal is somewhere over there so there's a bus will take me to my terminal i still have like lots of time i don't know that's why i'm, I mean, I'm sitting here you know uh, letting out steam at the comments left on my channel because it's only what's the time now i cannot see 20 minutes to 2. 20 to 2 my my flight takes off at uh, 6 15. So <laughs> i don't know what i'm gonna do four hours maybe find like some uh, beer stall or wine uh, stall Oh, two more things. Uh, I, you know, I keep buying um, souvenirs. Uh, I was, uh, I stopped for lunch at um, at that uh, pilot. You know, like it's sometimes that's another thing that makes it interesting is that. Jesus, it's getting hot here. Another thing that makes it interesting is that you know to be able to drive uh, a passenger light vehicle, where normally I only drive my uh, my Mack truck. You know. So this is much faster, you know, no problems going up or down, you know, you don't accelerate like crazy, you know, when you load it. So this is so relaxing, you know. And I like going down the same roads that, you know, I, I travel uh, uh, on with my Mack truck. So now I was on I-81 in Pennsylvania and I'm driving and I see a sign that says Denny's exit 219, 219, wait a second. That sounds familiar and sure enough that's the pilot flying j right over there where i stopped like hundreds you know 100 times and i go there and i just have a you know lunch at the, at the denny's and there's all these truckers around you know big trucks and and they have these cool t-shirts you know for truckers so i i thought it would be cool it would look cool in russia if my brother would wear it so i bought him a um 
uh, a great looking uh, t-shirt that has a picture of a Peterbilt pulling you know like a classic huge hood you know <laughs> it's gonna look great in Russia because they don't have these kind of trucks right they have uh, European trucks you know all like cab overs and they didn't they don't uh, very rarely you will see uh, traditional American trucks in Russia so this t-shirt has a classic Peterbilt pulling a van uh, van trailer and it says never I think it says never argue with an 18 wheeler and there's like cars flying over there's a dead animal sitting on the bumper you know <laughs> there's a sticker even the smallest details on the bumper it was funny there's a there's a you know one of those signs says how's my driving call 1-800 and on this t-shirt it says how's my driving call 1-800 and I know there was a word crap in there I, I'm sorry to mention this but basically who gives a uh, you know who gives a hoot you know <laughs> how's my driving? Well, this guy driving down the road in the Peter building you know, all knocking off cars killing animals you know it's a very cool t-shirt I thought it would make a great uh, gift for a Russian guy who is uh, you know in a country where very few people speak English and very few people see these big trucks you know American trucks so I have a whole bunch of uh, t-shirts for him now I got regular ones from Walmart this one was uh, 15 bucks US but great looking t-shirt you know anyway okay let me go get my bag and uh, we'll go find my counter and find my bus first and then see what else I can do inside the terminal while I'm waiting for my uh, for my uh, Boeing I think it's 767 hold on you must know this right Mm, Boeing 767-400 jet Boeing yeah and then from Germany from uh, Berlin it'll be Airbus Airbus jet okay I'm finally on the plane before somebody says something uh, you're allowed to record yourself uh, as long as you don't show the flight personnel or other passengers so, uh, about to take off and head to Berlin and that's another three hours to Russia so stay tuned thanks for watching and here's what Berlin looks like after 10 hours or no seven hours a thousand k an hour at the altitude of 10,000 km uh, meters I'm in Berlin